Hi everybody. This video goes over My Bakery. That's the furthest tab over to the right on your Cake Boss Cloud menu. My Bakery is where all the information about your bakery is stored, and it's your first stop you need to visit when you buy or upgrade to Cake Boss Cloud. Your bakery name, your address, website, and email all display on your customer invoices. If your jurisdiction requires you to charge sales tax on certain items, enter a tax rate here. The tax rate needs to be entered as a decimal. For instance, 8.25% would be entered as 0 0.0825. Here is where you can set the default for which items are subject to sales tax. Line items in general are your food items that you sell. If you're required to tax your delivery and rental charges, check these boxes as they apply. So for example, in my state only equipment rentals would be taxable. So I will check the tax rental box and save. Now every new order I start will be set to apply sales tax to equipment rental only. For more information on sales tax settings, please see the video on sales tax. And also be sure to press save after any changes you make to apply those changes. Your hourly rate is the rate that the pricing calculator uses to calculate prices on custom orders. And here is where you set your time zone. There are some reports that print with a time and date stamp and that's where this setting applies. At the very bottom you will see it says data plan expires and then a date. This is the date when you will need to renew your data plan by paying the annual fee. This date should read one year from the date of your original purchase. Now we'll flip over to the next tab, which is order message. This is the message that prints at the bottom of all your invoices. It could be as simple as thank you for your business or somewhat more elaborate. This field is limited to 400 characters. If you need to attach a message that is more than 400 characters to your invoice, this is where the Terms tab is used. The Terms tab contains a text box editor that you can use to add a document of unlimited size to your invoice. This could be your order terms or even your cake contract. If you check the Add Terms box, then the contents of the Add Terms will always print on page 2 of your invoices. If you'd like to see a sample contract, please check out the sample on our website, www.cakeboss.com, under the Cake Stuff link. A new feature to Cake Boss Cloud is the addition of employees. So if you have a partner or assistant, this is where you can add them as a user to your bakery, so they can have their own login and you do not have to share a password. Here you can see the number of employee logins that you currently have. Additional employee logins can be purchased by clicking the Purchase More button here, which will take you to PayPal. You can change any employee's password, including your own, by clicking on the name of the employee. You can also change your own password under the Password tab. Just enter your current password and then your new password twice to make sure they match, and press Change Password. The Logo tab is where you add your logo, which will appear on your invoices and reports. The optimal size for your logo is 250 by 250 pixels. The size restriction is to make sure the logo fits on your invoice without distorting the formatting of the other information. Supported file types are bitmap, GIF, JPEG, PNG, and TIFF. If you select a logo that exceeds 250 pixels by 250 pixels, you will receive an error message. If you need to resize your logo, you can use any photo editing software or do it at a free site called www.shrinkpictures.com. If you need help, just send us an email at support at cakeboss.com. The Color tab controls various colors throughout the application. The settings for appointments, customer special dates, and orders are the display colors on your calendar. This is purely your preference. I find the lighter colors display these events better for me on my monitor. Here we see the colors I've chosen for orders, appointments, and customer special dates. 
The invoice accent color is the color of the dividing bars on your invoice. You can choose any color in order to coordinate with your logo. So I'll select a color, click apply, and then save. And then we'll flip over to an invoice. And you can see on the invoice that I've selected a color for the dividing bars that matches my logo.